Hey, what's up everybody? Um, tonight uh, I decided to come out and do a 30 minute alone challenge. This is my really my first video, but um, essentially what I'm doing is I'm just gonna be out here um, seeing if there's any ghosts, I guess. Um, this area used to be a Civil War encampment. Um, uh, 1861 through 1863, this area was uh, heavily fought in uh, between Fredericksburg and Stafford counties. Uh, you know, stuff like the War of uh, uh, Chancellorville, um, War of Fredericksburg, um, War Campaign at Fredericksburg, and uh, of course, um, the uh, Wilderness Battlefield. Um, but anyway, uh, this behind me, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I think I walked past it. Hold on a second. Um, behind me is the Robertson, actually in front of me is the Robertson Towson house. Um, and this uh, house, uh, now it's just a ruin, but um, essentially it was uh, pretty much sold from uh, the Robertson family to the Towson family. So the Towson family was here during uh, the Civil War. And um, around the property uh, were uh, limestone quarries and the quarries were used for uh, getting limestone for, uh, you know, building the Capitol building in DC and other structures in DC. Um, but the house itself is uh, right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, that's the house itself. It's uh, fenced off, so, you know, we're not gonna go inside or anything, but um, pretty creepy, really, if you think about it. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty creepy. Um, but still, it's limestone. It's it's built uh, with the same material um, that came from the qu the quarry, uh, not far from here. Um, but essentially, what I'm going to do is it's about a half mile walk to some of the encampment sites. So um, what I was going to do is I was going to uh, shut this off, and then I'm going to go further back um, into uh, the woods there and we're gonna see essentially we're gonna see uh you know if uh there's any truth to uh, some of the claims that the area is haunted um by civil war ghosts or or you know indians indians or settlers or any of that kind of stuff um i can be, to be honest with you it's a little creepy back here because i can't see anything i've been here during the daytime and during the daytime it uh pretty much seems you know pretty normal um, I might hear some sounds out here like deer or, uh, there's black bear in the area, but, um, and maybe human traffic. Uh, it's not too late at night. It's around 1030. So, um, I might get a little bit of that, but other than that, uh, I will, uh, shut this off and I'll be back when, uh, essentially in a few minutes, uh, it's about a half mile walk back. And when I get back there, we will, uh, Go from there. All right. All right, so we're uh, back about a, I don't know, I would say a little over, a little under a half a mile and about a quarter of a mile from, uh, you know, where I started at the Robertson Towson house um, back in the wood, wooded area here. Um, this area is kind of creepy, actually. Um, it's, uh, as you can see around me, um, it's, uh, it's, uh, creepy. So, anyway, I'm going to turn this around, and we are going to, uh, hike through and see, you know, what we can get into, really. Um. Again, if you guys hear anything, see anything that I don't see, because um, it is very dark, um, you know, comment below. Uh, let me know uh, if you hear or see anything. And uh, sorry, I'm a little sketched out being back here because it's almost deafening quiet. Like, you don't hear anything except for me talking. Um, but anyway, let's get to it. I'm 
like I had said earlier, this is a 30 minute alone challenge. So, um, I'm gonna try to do all 30 minutes. But if I get sketched out too much, I might run. I don't know yet. All right. Let's go. There we go. Let me know if you guys see anything or hear anything. Hello? Oh, thought I heard something. So I'm gonna make my way up this trail and uh, we'll see, see what happens. Yeah, so this is sort of a a trail through here it's a uh, like you know runners run on it i run on it um people hike on it but right outside of here is areas where um, some of the limestone workers would cut out lime and the lime would be shipped down to uh, you know they would use a horse and and whatnot to take the limestone down to port aquia to get onto uh, the Potomac River. And uh, from the Potomac River, they would you know, get on a boat and the boat would go up to Washington DC where they would use this limestone that you can see right over here. We'll go over there and take a look to uh, build buildings. Like the Capitol building. So there's a lot of history here. Um, a lot of Civil War history, a lot of architectural history pretty cool area um, but uh tonight we're here for the ghosts if there are any pretty neat limestone huge limestone rock let's go on top see what's up Check this out, where they, right down here, this area right here, that's where they uh, cut out a piece of limestone. You can see, like all through here, see this? All through there, they cut out all that limestone in chunks. That's neat, that is really neat. But we're not here for that. So, let's get up here and see see what's going on up here Whew. so this is on top of that uh, that uh, limestone rock this is just the top of it um, wow it's cool very very cool very neat Very neat. All right, so, um, give me a second here. This light is bright. Man, that is a bright light. Uh, okay, that'll do. Um, so, like I had said earlier, this is uh, the property really much, or pretty much of the Robertson Towson family, or families. Um, you saw their house in the beginning. Um, and uh, essentially, I'll tell you a little bit about myself, I guess. Uh, my name is John, and uh, I watch a lot of uh, paranormal and, uh, you know, ghost shows. And, uh, you know, I have, I've had my own encounter with a ghost. Um, 
years ago and I watch a lot of these shows and to be quite honest, I think a lot of them are just full of shit. So, uh, you know, I wanted to come out and do it myself. You know, uh, it, it takes a lot of, it, to be quite honest with you, those guys that are doing it, even if they are playing around, it takes a lot of guts to come out here at night like this. It's, it's dark and uh, I don't think it's really the ghosts you got to worry about. I think it's other people and animals. But um, anyway, uh, I watch a lot of those shows, and I and you know, uh, during this pandemic, uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTube, and uh, I see a lot of guys doing thirty-minute alone challenges. And I was like, well, you know, I lived in a haunted house, so I can do that. So I, uh, my wife bought me a GoPro, and uh, here I am. Um, I've got a lot of stuff planned. Uh, one of the the plans I have um, <clears throat> is to do uh, Civil War battlefields. Um, you know, 30 minute alone challenges and civil war, the actual battlefields themselves, like wilderness and, uh, Chancellorsville, um, uh, Spotsylvania courthouse, those areas. Um, and then, uh, I think I'm going to be doing a bed and breakfast here shortly. It's on a plantation. Uh, it's purported to be haunted. Ghost hunters did an episode there and I believe, I don't, I think ghost adventures did, I, but I can't, I can't be certain. So anyway, uh, that's what we're doing. So let's get on with it. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some call and responses. See if we hear anything. Uh, I don't have like a K2 meter just yet. Um, I got one on order and, um, I don't have necrophonic cause that's quite honestly, that's BS like that. Come on. It's, it's BS. Um, so I'm not going to use it because I don't think that's science. Um, I just think it's an app. So, uh, anyway, let's uh do some call and response and like i said before comment below subscribe um if you like what you're seeing if you don't then don't subscribe but uh we uh if, if you comment below I, I will answer you and you know get some discussions going uh but uh let's uh see if we can hear anything and uh let me know if you guys see anything besides me and uh let's get on with it Hello? Is anybody here? Anybody from the Union? Army? Army of the Potomac? Oh, that's interesting. So we put a rock right there. Kind of scared me for a second. Um, are you injured? Do you miss home? Might get a little loud. I'm walking through the leaves here. I'm looking for Union soldiers, part of the 11th Corps. You guys heading to Gettysburg? Like I said before, guys, if, if you guys hear anything or see anything, um, please comment below because just so you know, my hearing's not all that great and I'm kind of blind from the, the light on this camera, so uh, I can't really see that well either. Um, 
So, you know, what's interesting is we're going down like a, a subtle hill here. And <clears throat> I'm curious, and I don't know this because I haven't done um, extensive research. I've just done, you know, pretty much, uh, I, I guess you can, you can say like a weekend historian type, type research where, you know, I read a little bit here and there and pick up facts from uh, roadside markers and um, historic site markers. But see these trenches here? Um, there was no battle here, but I'm wondering if some of these entrenchments that we see are not natural, um, you know, erosion. Because um, during the Civil War, when they would build out encampments, especially for the, the winter, they would dig down um, to... Uh, you know, keep themselves safe, obviously. And, um, but they also dug down for food supply and stuff like that. So I'm wondering if maybe some of this during the, uh, when this was a limestone quarry, I'm wondering if maybe some of the workers did that, um, for, you know, many different reasons to use it to ship stuff out, um, stuff that they cut like that piece of limestone right there. That was a cut piece of limestone that they did not use. Um, or if, uh, some of the Civil War soldiers, the Union Civil War soldiers, um, the Army of the Potomac, I wonder if they were the ones that, that did this. Um, I'll do some more research on it and let you guys know. It's kind of dense through here. Even though it is winter, it's 33 degrees outside. It's pretty fucking, or it's pretty cold. Um, I'm trying not to curse uh, there's no reason to, to curse unless I'm super scared then you might hear some cussing going on but uh, I'm gonna go down there down into this little embankment hopefully I don't fall I'm not wearing my boots and I should have because it's kind of muddy and, and wet as you can see right there and through here I'll walk down through this part of the wood and then up through here. Let's see. I thought I heard something. I thought I heard a voice. Now there could be, um, so 95, I-95, Interstate 95 is not far from here. And there is an access road into neighborhoods not far from here. So I probably heard somebody's music from their car or maybe, I don't know, somebody letting their dog out. I don't know. But I am kind of, I don't know, about a half mile from, from civilization, so. We're getting to a higher point, so if you do see lights in the distance, it's because there are neighborhoods around this area. Um, let's see. I didn't want to go up through all that. It'd be too loud. If you guys... Again, if you hear anything or see anything, let me know. Oh, okay, here we go. This is more open. Oh, I think I forgot to mention too, uh, that Robertson Towson house that we saw earlier. Um, that home was actually uh, used as a field hospital when this was an encampment. So soldiers did die there or die in the area and um, amputations and whatnot were done um, 
on those grounds. So, you know, war is, is tough. Um, but the, yeah, this whole area was pretty much uh, at the center of this country's civil war. Oh, I think I saw some, what was that? Do you guys see anything down there? Okay. Whew. Scared me. Um, let's come down this way. So this is, I got myself back up on a trail. Okay. scary <laughs> like no joke it is uh pretty scary out through here um all right As you can see, it's winter. I keep feeling, I, I, this is gonna, I mean, it's kind of cliche, but I do feel like when I'm walking that, that there's something behind me. <laughs> And it's probably just my imagination because it is uh, pretty dark and, you know, the mind wonders when, when it's dark and it's just you. I thought I heard something again. That is creepy. All right. All right. Where are we? Oh, so there's a trail that goes down that way, and I'll just follow this one, see, see where this goes. Yeah, pretty creepy back through here. But what I'm going to do, um, I think I've got, we're at the 19-minute uh, mark, so I've got about 10 minutes and 30 seconds left of this uh, challenge. Um, which to be quite honest so far, it hasn't been too bad. Um, except for feeling like I keep hearing stuff behind me. That's kind of, kind of odd. Yeah. Kind of crazy. So here's this trail, it leads down into a main path, I think. Oh yeah, so um, here's a little bit more history. This road that you see here, this dirt road that you can see down here, this was actually called White's Road or White Ridge Road, um, depending on which map you look at. Um, and uh, it was one of the main thoroughfares in uh, Stafford County uh, that led um, off of Courthouse Road, um, west of the county. So, I guess that's a little knowledge bit for you guys. But, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of neat, um, all of the uh, uh, ice forming beneath my feet here, around the ground. Kind of neat. But here's a bridge um, that was built recently over this creek and uh, this bridge leads back towards the um, Robertson Towson house and here is that here's a creek here and I see I believe this is Austin run um, the, the creek name is Austin run it's pretty neat um, let's see so let's go back this way and see if we can't whew, 
get out of here without falling. It's kind of the mud. You can see it's still, it's not iced over yet. So a little bit muddy. But uh, here, let's, let me, I heard something. Whoa, what the, what the hell is that? That was my phone. I heard something, it sounded like a footstep. That was creepy. And it wasn't my feet. <laughs> I know my own footstep. I don't know. It sounded like a heavy step. Could have been a deer. They're, they do bed down back here. But man, oh man. <laughs> I got the chills on that one. So let me uh, turn this camera around real fast and uh, we will talk a little bit. I gotta turn this light off, I can't see anything. Oh, actually, yeah, I can. All right, so um, one of my plans, uh, here in the next couple days is to do a 30 minute alone challenge um, in the wilderness, uh, the wilderness campaign that is. And I can tell you this, a uh, few years ago, <clears throat> I went walking back there uh, cause I'd never been there and I, I like history. So uh, anyway, I went walking back there and uh, it was about dusk and um, it was, probably one of the the creepiest places like it, it's nothing like the, walking back here honestly is not that scary that scary i do look behind me every once in a while just to make sure it's just me and nobody's following me but um when i was back in the wilderness what the hell was that Whew. That sent chills right down my back. Whatever that was, man. Jeez. It could have been a, I don't know, an acorn falling for all I know. But anyway, I uh, I uh, was walking back there um, in the wilderness, and it's a two-mile trail, and it basically does a big loop, and it's a flank attack trail. So it's where the uh, uh, Confederate Army of the south essentially flanked um, the Union and drove them back uh, basically out of uh, uh, the wilderness um, at the time Burnside was the general and um, essentially uh, the Confederate Army uh, flanked the left side of the Union line and uh, basically decimated the line. So, um, anyway, when you're back there, oh, I almost fell, I almost fell right down into that. Can you guys see that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, because this light is in my face so anyway uh, when you're back there the uh, it just feels it feel it literally feels like there's a million eyeballs on you and I couldn't shake the feeling and I, I'm not one I mean I'm trust me I, this is scary like I think I'm I think I have a lot of uh, uh, courage because I'm talking to you guys you know I, I Quite honestly, I don't think I would do this if I weren't going to be posting this on 
social media, but uh, because I'm not really big on social media either, but um, this is scary, and uh, but I can tell you this right now the place I'm gonna be doing later this week is and that was my phone by the way um i ran out of that place and at the time uh, i didn't run much at the time uh regularly uh and i i ran as fast as i could uh and as hard as i could out of that place it was a creep show i'm telling you it was uh super creepy and uh something I'm really I'm not looking forward to it but I know uh, you guys will probably get a kick out of watching me run away and uh, I know that um, once I do it uh, you know I'm proving something to myself like hey I can do this you know and you know I see it like I said earlier I see all these guys getting uh, you know I watch all these guys doing these 30 minute alone challenges I'm like man you know like if this isn't fake, which most of it is, just so you know, um, but even even if it's fake, guys coming out and doing stuff like this, you know, there's nobody out here, man. It's just me. Um, it's scary and it's it's dangerous too. And I'm not gonna say don't do it because I'm obviously doing it. But um, if you're young, if you're under the age of 18, don't do it because you know you can get hurt. Um, anybody can get hurt doing it, but. Uh, I feel pretty safe um, so at this point I do but yeah I see these guys doing it and uh, man it's like one you you've you've got to have a, a backbone straight up to do this because it's you know you can see behind me there's nothing it's dark right um, so you gotta have a backbone to do it and on top of that um, you know, I just want to prove to myself that I can do it and, you know, I want to capture evidence. You know, I lived in a, in a haunted, a haunted apartment. It wasn't a house. It was a haunted apartment, um, after high school. And, uh, back then there wasn't, you know, camera phones and all that stuff. So I didn't have, you know, the... Um, you know, the immediately, oh, pick up your phone and get a, you know, catch a, a photo of that or, you know, there was none of that. So, um, sorry, I'm going down this embankment and it's super slippery. Um, yeah, there was, there, there was no camera phone, so you couldn't really take a picture or anything. So, uh, anyway, uh, I want to catch some evidence myself and prove to myself that one, I wasn't nuts. Um, I mean, you know, I'm out here alone in the dark. It's, it's pretty dark out. I mean, look, look behind me. That's, that's pretty dark. So I want to prove to myself that I could do it. I want to catch some evidence and, you know, quite honestly, this is kind of fun. And of course, you know, there's a lot of people that can't do stuff like this and they'd probably like to see it because you know, these shows that you see on TV, they chop everything up and lots, lots of it's just fake evidence. I'm not saying all of them, but you know, um, most of them. And then the people on YouTube, you know, want to make a quick buck. So, you know, they use magician string and cut videos and put stuff in videos to, you know, to, you know, get people excited. And uh, I'm not about that, so. Anyway, let's uh, let's walk up some more, and uh, we should almost be done here. But let's see. All right, let me uh, turn up this light. All right. So I got the light turned up. Here we go. Let's see what where am I at. Oh, I'm over 30 minutes, but we'll end over here at this, uh, oh, um, <clears throat> over at this, uh, Robertson Towson house and get, help you guys to 
be able to see what I'm talking about. It's a pretty nice uh, ruin, actually. Um, but actually, you know, I'm pretty glad that we didn't run into much out here. I had a, you know, a point where that just creeped me out a bit. What was that? And I'm not talking about the horn that we heard from I-95. I'm talking about, and you know, comment below if you if you heard. But it sounded like somebody was walking. It sounded like a couple footsteps. But not like deer. Deer, they'll they'll tear through here. You know, deer will just tear right through here. They don't just take a couple footsteps and stop. And it was definitely louder than a, uh, you know, than, you know, a possum or something like that. Anyway. Whew, just as long as harm doesn't come to me, I'm fine with it. But yeah, that's, that's what you got to watch out for is other human beings that wish to do people harm. Oh, see this? This is so cool. I, um, so this is a part of the limestone quarry right here. That's a huge limestone rock right there, right? And there's actually a place in this rock where water um, caused the limestone. It got into one of the cracks of the limestone. Here, let me watch where I'm going because I am not trying to fall. Yeah, so right here, let me walk through here. So see that crack right there? <clears throat> oh, it fell. <laughs> anyway, see this crack right here? Water actually caused that. And then, you know, the, uh, the freezing and thawing process over years and years and years caused basically the crack to separate and separate and separate. Isn't that neat? That is pretty cool. All right, so I fell, even though I didn't want to fall. Whoa. All right, so we're coming up on a creek over here. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna, I do, I'm gonna do uncut stuff. Um, so that way you guys know, like there's no, you know, trying to fool you or any of that kind of stuff. So here's the creek. Pretty neat, right? And we're going to cross it and hopefully I don't fall in. Uh, go to this rock. Go to this rock. Whoa. This rock. This rock. This rock. There we go. Whoa. All right. And this is also part of White's Road, actually, or White Ridge Road. Depends on the map you look at. So, actually, if we go down over on this side, I'll show you guys a cool feature of this house. Um, and these are the original stones. Nobody's done anything for uh, close to 200 years. They, this is just hand-built. It's a neat little thing. Uh, if we can get up further. Right here. This is hand-built. This is the wall of the house. Or not of the house, but you know, the wall outside of the house. Pretty neat, right? We'll walk up some more so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And it runs all along this, all along this. This is the, this is that wall. See, how cool is that? And it's been here for 150, almost 200 years. Pretty neat. 
and now I'm lost. Oh, here we go. The trail's over here, and it's super muddy. Ugh. But yeah, there it is, that wall. That is too neat. That is too neat. All right, let's see if we can get out of here without falling or getting our feet super wet. There's more of that wall. It runs all along the property. Well, at least, I mean, all of this was their property, but, um, but at least in front of the house, all this runs through there. And this is part of that White Ridge Road right here. Ugh. Come on. It's so muddy. There's where the wall ends right there. And there's more, that's more of a regularly used trail through here. Um, but this is leading back up to that house. And I'll show you a couple cool things about this house. So, this house, um, if you look up, there it is. How neat is that? Now that is neat. That's, uh, that's history and, and I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, see if I can get closer. See up there where that wood's coming out from the window? Do you see that? That's the original wood that was originally put on this house when it was built. And you can see it there in the window. It's pretty neat. This was a kitchen area here. There's a stove. It's neat. Um, and then back here, I'll take you back here for a second. Uh, yeah, back here. This is another cool cool spot so um, where am I yeah so this is the the house this is the original steps right here these are the original steps for this house they've been here this whole time original steps going right up to it right there how neat is that I love I love history but that's the house and it looks super creepy at night um, too bad there's a fence around it but it is historic property and you got to respect uh you got to respect fences you know you can't be jumping over them and going into places you're not supposed to but yeah um that's that that's the robert towson house um let me turn this light off um so geez so anyway um, that's that. We didn't uh, really get much, I don't think, but like I said, I, I can't hear that well. Um, I mean, I can hear, but not as well as I used to be able to. Um, so if you guys had seen anything or you hear anything, um, what the hell? All right. I think my, I think my mind's just playing tricks on me, but, uh, if you guys, you know, saw anything or if you heard anything, please comment below i will respond um the uh like i said i got some stuff coming up uh you know i'm gonna do that trail that really freaks me out i mean it really really freaks me out and i'm gonna be doing a, a plantation home uh where i'm gonna be staying overnight there actually um, and i've got some other stuff planned <clears throat> um for later this year uh but anyway if you guys uh know of any good haunted places in the virginia area you know, shoot me a link to to the place, um, and yeah, I'll go check it out. I'll do a 30-minute loan challenge there, no problem, anytime, any day. But uh, 
thought I heard something. What the? What the hell? Hey, is somebody over there? Hello? Ooh, that really creeped me out. Anyway, I thought I heard somebody. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, but that's it. Um, and like I said before, if you uh, know of any haunted places that you want me to check out, drop me a link and uh, we'll do it. Anyway, have a good one, guys. Bye.